you know, regularly dream and consider what you want and then adjust your plans accordingly. You know, make sure that you are learning and creating, creating and learning. These things all really flow between one another and help keep us moving forward in balance in a sustainable way and in a way that hopefully is helping us feel a little bit more fulfilled and rewarding than if we're too far into any one area. Hey devs, and welcome back to another episode of the Kubar podcast, where we talk about building great software and helping others do the same. Here we have short chats about things like software development, working in teams, and building your ideal career in tech. We aim to foster a sense of connection, inspiration, and continued learning so we can all continue to dream, learn, and create. New year, new opportunities. In this first episode of 2021, we're going to talk about how you can set yourself up for success in the new year. We'll explore a framework I like to think about to help guide our efforts, and that is dream, learn, and create. And we'll end with some specific tactical advice that you can apply to help jumpstart your new year. This podcast is supported by awesome listeners just like you. If you enjoy the podcast and find this episode useful, please consider subscribing and leaving a review. It helps out the show and lets me know how to best serve you all with future episodes. If you have a question or would like to suggest a future topic idea, I'd love to hear from you. Send an email to podcast at goobar.io for your question or topic to possibly be featured in one of our future episodes. And now let's dive in to today's topic. Hello, everybody, and a happy new year to you all. I hope that your new year is off to a great start, and I want to wish you all a very sincere, uh, just happy new year. I want to wish you all health, happiness, and success in this upcoming year. The, the new year is always a great time for us to reflect, to set goals, to make plans, and to generally try and set ourselves up for a success in the months to come. Sometimes, though, this is a lot easier said than done. You know, New Year's resolutions are infamously short-lived, and most don't make it past January. As software developers, I think we can struggle at times to think about our year and to think about how we want to invest our time over the course of an entire year. And I think sometimes we struggle with this in a few kind of consistent ways. I think it's really common for us to aim unrealistically high and think that we can accomplish way more than is maybe realistic for wherever we are at the moment. I think sometimes we might have a very realistic goal, but we lack a real concrete executable plan for how to actually work towards that goal and see it come to fruition. And I think sometimes we might find ourselves at a crossroads and not really know what direction we want to go in, maybe what technology to invest in or or how to, to best learn, whether that's through a book or a course or something like that. I've gone through all of these phases personally, uh, multiple times really, and as we kick off the new year, I just thought I would dedicate this first episode to exploring uh, this dream, learn, create framework and how we can think about applying that towards kind of our, our goal setting and how we might try and reach our new goals in 2021. So again, the the framework that I like to think about, and especially this year, I'm trying to think about it more, is dream, learn, and create. You know, you've heard me say this during podcast episodes before, if you tuned in. I've included this in social media before, and it is something that I do think about uh, quite often, really. Um, And it's because I think that these three elements are really important to helping us reach our fullest, happiest selves. 
So what do I mean when I say dream, learn, create? Like, what is this more than, you know, maybe just a, a catchy slogan or something? So first off, we have dream. You know, what is your goal? Where do you want to be in a year? It's important to ask ourselves these kinds of questions from time to time. And the beginning of a new year is truly a great time to revisit them. It's maybe the best time to revisit them. You know, do you want to get a new job? Or maybe do you want to get your first job in a new profession? Do you want to write a book or start your own business? What makes you happy? Take some time to really imagine yourself a year from now. Grab a journal, go for a walk, meditate. Do something to help you dream about what your big, exciting goals might be for 2021. And don't just focus on your work either or or your career. We are much more than just our jobs, work, or career. So open it up. How do you want to spend your time? What does your ideal day look like? Or your ideal week? Or your ideal year? Reflect on these questions. Visualize these answers. Visualize and explore these dreams until you have a strong sense of really where you want to be a year from now. Once you've done that, then I think you're ready to start learning. So the second tenant here of Dream, Learn, Create is learn. And I think learning is is super important. I think we always want to be learning. If your dreams are big and exciting and scary, that is a good thing. That is an awesome thing. But it also probably means that you don't have it all figured out right away. And that's where we need to hit the metaphorical books and start learning. We might need to learn more about the day-to-day requirements of a specific job so that we can get a better understanding of the tools, the jargon, and the output of that role. You might then need to write out all those tools, topics, terms, and concepts and start doing research on each one individually. What do they mean? How do they fit together? You know, maybe you're looking to build a specific project, but you don't know how to do it. Can you start asking questions that eventually lead you to a greater understanding? How to display a screen in an app might lead to how to show a button in an app might lead eventually down the line to something more complex, like how to show a sticky notification when syncing a user's downloads. You know, taking small measured steps forward eventually pays off to much greater results. And it becomes much easier to learn a specific thing if we can make that thing smaller and more focused. You know, the the underlying thought to all of this is that we never want to stop learning. It's really easy to get caught up too much in the the dreaming part of this, or we get so caught up in doing that we forget to actually learn new things. We forget to dive into something new or, or fail to dive deeper into something that maybe is already familiar to us. And this can kind of hinder us overall in the long run. So it's good to keep them in balance. Understand where you want to go, ask questions on how to get there, answer those questions, and keep learning as you continue moving towards your dreams. And lastly, the last part of this is create. And this is the one I think that resonates most with many developers out there. You know, as developers, we tend to enjoy building things. And I think it's immensely valuable for us to create, whether you are a software developer, a a creative, or really just as human beings in general. However, we do also tend to fall uh, against some common roadblocks when we're trying to sit down and create anything. And for software developers, I think there are a few really common roadblocks here when we sit down to create. Uh, one of them being analysis paralysis, where we we just can't 
pick something. Uh, we spend all of our time deciding what to create and never actually create. I think we also struggle sometimes with new shiny syndrome where we start something and then immediately get distracted by the, the next new shiny thing. And then the last one that I think sometimes we struggle with is the, the good old biting off more than we can chew, like thinking that what we can create is much bigger than maybe it really needs to be for our goals. So maybe you are unsure of what the best project idea is. Maybe you're unsure of which programming language to choose. At the end of the year, the worst thing you could do is nothing. So pick the idea that you like most. Pick the language you're comfortable with. Or maybe pick the language you're least comfortable with. Just pick an idea and create. Build it, write it, record it. Get something out there. Develop the practice of showing up for yourself and dedicating time towards creation in the pursuit of whatever your dreams and goals may be. Once you've picked something, stick with it. It doesn't have to be forever, but try to have some concrete milestone or deliverable in mind to help you stay on track. It's easy to jump from one project to the next, but often the most learning comes from the small little details and problems you find at the end of a project. And lastly, don't bite off more than you can chew. Try and avoid that, if at all possible. If you wanna be an app developer, you don't have to recreate Instagram or Facebook from the ground up to develop those skills. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you don't need to come up with 100,000 subscribers overnight. Keep your projects reasonable in size so that that frees up some space for you so that you have the space to explore a topic more deeply if you need to, if you want to take a short break if you need to to recharge so that you can add additional polish to the smaller sub of features that you've decided on. Um, it just in general gives you more space to really hone your craft and make sure that this is sustainable for the long run. So that's kind of it for, you know, these three high level uh, ideas, you know, dream, you know, have a clear idea of what you want to do, learn, you know, understand what you need to learn to make that dream a reality, and then create, you know, sit down and actually build the thing, do the work, show up for yourself uh, so that you can continue moving forward towards whatever that goal is. And these three ideas, I really believe that when in balance can help guide us towards our goals. Now, these three concepts are nice, but sometimes it's also nice to just have some good old fashioned actionable tips to help us towards our goals. So I wanted to end this by dropping a few of those as well, just to close out the episode. So number one tip that I can give for you know, helping reach your goals in 2021 is to develop consistency. You know, progress is greater than perfection. It's better to constantly do a little bit every day than to go all out in January, burn out, and do nothing for another six months. Now, there's a great quote from a book by Matthew Kelly. The, the book's name is The Long View, and the quote goes like this. Most people overestimate what they can do in a day and underestimate what they can do in a month. We overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can accomplish in a decade. And so the idea here is that it's really easy to rush to get as much done as possible, burn out, and then end up not ending up as far as we could in the long run. So in terms of, you know, software development, you know, a good example of this is maybe GitHub and the little green uh, contribution squares. You know, there's no need to have every little square filled out on GitHub. There's no need to, to code all day, every day. There's no need to be writing all day, every day, or really to be doing anything all the time. You know, look at your schedule. Find some time during your days and your weeks where you can consistently show up for yourself, even if it's just for a few minutes a day. Be consistent with that time and the results will come. 
Tip number two is to write all of this out. Writing something makes it more real for us. Write out your dreams somewhere that you can see them regularly so that you can see them on a daily basis and then visualize those on a regular basis. Write out your learning plan. You know, what are you learning this week, this month, this quarter? Have a plan for yourself to help keep you on track. Revisit that plan, edit it, update it as you need to, but make sure you are, are checking in on it, visiting it throughout your days and your weeks, and that will help you just be more mindful about it, to think about it more often, which really does help keep you on track. Tip number three is to find community and mentorship. Now, it's hard to always be dreaming, learning, and creating all on your own. Find a community of people that inspire you, that make you feel like you belong and can inspire you to, uh, to learn and to create new and exciting things. And then turn to those people when you have questions, when you are feeling a lack of inspiration, when you're struggling with something. You know, this community can be online, it can be in person, although that still may be hard these days in 2020. Um, but, but most likely over time, your community will be a combination of both. And being able to turn to that community for support, for, for mentorship, for debugging or, or code review or editing a blog post, things like that is really valuable. It goes a long ways towards helping you reach your goals if you're not in it alone. And lastly, the last tip I would just want to share here is to, again, revisit all of this regularly. You know, your plans don't need to be set in stone for the whole year. In fact, it's often a really good thing to leave space for mid-year pivots as our situations change, as we learn new things or as new opportunities come our way. You know, regularly dream and consider what you want and then adjust your plans accordingly. You know, make sure that you are learning and creating creating and learning. These things all really flow between one another and help keep us moving forward in balance in a sustainable way and in a way that hopefully is helping us feel a little bit more fulfilled and rewarding than if we're too far into any one area. So that's going to end it for this first episode of 2021. I sincerely hope that we can all realize our goals and dreams in this new year. And then at the end of the day, I really just want you to do whatever is best for you, whatever makes you happy. So if that means not setting any goals this year, that is awesome. I hope you have a great year. If this is the year that you are going to really chase after whatever that big dream has been, again, I wish you all the best. Um, if there's anything I can do to help any of you out there in any way, please feel free to reach out to me on social media, send me an email, whatever. I would love to help. Um, but I really sincerely hope that these ideas of dream, learn, and create may have helped you or inspired you in some small way. And I really look forward to seeing what you all do in this new year. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to dream, learn, and create. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Until next time, devs. <laughs>